So yesterday about, I, uh, yesterday I was off all week. I have been off since Wednesday of last week and finally I'm out. And because of the holidays and the, the timing of everything, I was at, they, they couldn't really find me a short run because normally with this company, I'm, I'm, I'm doing long runs. I'm, I'm you know, I, I do about 3,000 miles a week average and they don't really like doing a lot of short, short stuff because they're a small company and you know, they're trying to get those high paying loads and the short stuff, you're not really making much. So anyway, I ended up going uh, to court yesterday for parking my truck in my own yard. That's right. And I, I know a lot of these st states and cities, you know, have the city ordinance about that. But my town is a very small town and they're all about money and they're all about the police ha harassing you. I say that lightly, but what, what I really mean by that is these guys are the kind of people that will literally come to your yard with a tape measure. And if you're over, you know, an inch on your grass or whatever, they'll write you up for it. So they're very strict about everything. Um, so needless to say, they come in my first week. I just moved out to Neo Show. I parked my truck in my yard. They come in, they write me a ticket. No warning, nothing. They just, they give me a ticket. I'm like, all right, you know, whatever. I'll go fight it. They, they give me this ticket. And they don't give it like a 30 day notice. No, 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 it's like two weeks till court. It, that's how quick it was. So I go to the courthouse. Um, I waited there for, I, I got in there at 3.45 ish. My court was, my, the, I wasn't supposed to be there till four. One, here's the funny thing about this whole story. They gave me the wrong address. They gave me the address for the old courthouse. All right, I was walking. I live in a small town. I can walk everywhere. They have three courthouses in the, no four in this one small town one of them is closed and that's the courthouse that they gave me so they have the main courthouse in the middle of neosho which is like the the you know felony stuff you know murder convict type stuff then they have a judaical courthouse which i don't know what that one's all about i walked in there and said oh no you're at the wrong one so then i had to go about another half block and then there was the actual court room and that's all it was just a room that they built in the building so I go in there, they bring the prisoners in, they, you know, they did the prisoners first. I'm the second one out of everybody. It's about 4.30 at this point. I was the second per actual civilian that wasn't a convict that gets called up. The first guy gets called up for, I don't know, insurance or registration tax or whatever. And then they, and then here's what's funny about the whole thing. The judge starts talking to the lady next to him and they're looking at my ticket. And they're talking about something about paperwork or something because they messed up my paperwork. They didn't put the make and model of my truck down on the on the ticket, and they didn't put the right address down. There was just so much off about this ticket, and they didn't put my right phone number down. I told him what my phone number was because he came. The cop that wrote me the ticket was in the courtroom. He's like, "Hey, you gave me the wrong phone number." I said, "No, I didn't." I said, well, "Here's my phone number." He's like, "I was like, here, I'll tell you right here, and you can call it." He's like, oh, I wrote it down wrong, my bad. Sorry, we make mistakes too. Yeah, and that's why I'm fighting this ticket because you're making a mistake. So this ticket was just off on so many levels that if I would have if I would have got an attorney, I probably would have got this whole case dropped. But it's not, it, it's not about getting the case dropped. It's about fighting for your rights for your private property. So anyway, they, he, he calls me up. He says, "All right, so all of you, all you guys are ordinance." Like he, this judge looked annoyed. He's like, "Really? Are, are we really doing a ticket about this?" He's like, "Do you plead guilty or not guilty?" I said, "Not guilty." He's like, "All right, well, we're gonna set the court date for August 15th." I said, "Perfect." So I have a court date on August 15th, and I will let you guys know what's going down. I do not have the ordinance here with me. It's at home right now. I'm back on the truck. I'm back on the road. Um, but basically, what it is, it, it, all it says is no truck over. The capacity uh, of 18,000 pounds can park on a city street, a drive, a court, an avenue, um, and then like whatever. But there was nothing about my driveway. All right, I know when, when they say drive, they mean because some streets are drives. Also, on my uh, on the road where I live, there is absolutely no no truck route signs. There is no no weight limit signs. There is nothing saying no trucks allowed. There is no, you know, thing saying, oh, you know, no truck routes. There's trucks going by my house all the time. We have a major trucking company, CEI, right down the road from where I live. 
literally half a block away. So, to me, I have, I have a couple friends that say, well, it's city ordinance, you're not gonna be able to beat the ticket. Fine, I'm not gonna give up, give up on it just because you tell me to. And then I have a couple friends saying, dude, there is nothing on this, this ordinance saying you cannot park your truck on your own property. Now, I'll post the picture here. They have, there was another truck that ha that's right down the road from me with his truck parked on his property. But you know, it's funny, he lives over the railroad tracks and that's kind of the richer neighborhood. See, I don't live in a rich neighborhood. I don't need to, I don't want to. Why waste all that money on a whole fancy beautiful house, blah, 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 when I can have my nice little two bedroom house to myself that with my nice little property, I don't need a whole lot. I'm not, uh, I'm not one of those people that need a whole lot in life. So, anyway, basically my truck is parked pretty much right in front of my house on my property. It's not obscuring the view of the stop sign. Not obscure, it's not obscuring traffic. The guy did, the cop didn't even know what truck my color was, or the, the, what truck my color was. What color my truck was, can you believe that? Like, <laughs> this guy comes up to me in the courthouse, he's like, you have a black, uh, a black one, right? No. It's white. And he looks at me all like stupid, like like I'm lying to him. This guy is treating me like a straight up convict, like a straight up criminal, all right? Like they always do. This is why I have a stigma against police officers. I get they're trying to do the job, but really, you're gonna harass me over this shit and you don't even know the make and model of my truck. You don't know the color of my truck. I had pictures on my phone that said, no, here's a picture of my truck parked on my lawn. And I had I had video, which I think I showed you guys on one, one video, what my whole entire road looks like. You don't even see my truck until you get to my house. So, I showed him, I said, no, this is my truck. It is not parked on the street. There is nothing in the, the rule book about parking it on my own property. Anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. If I lose this case, whoop de do. I pay a ticket. It doesn't go on my record. It's not a big deal. Never give up on your rights as a driver and your rights as a property owner. Your your rights in general. Keep fighting every ticket you get, whether you think you're in the wrong or the right, you fight it. No matter how big and small it is, you fight it because you let people take advantage of you, police mainly, or the city, they will. But here's my next step. I will be making, I will be taking this to city council. I will either have them put a no truck route on my road, all right, or take the, or, or, or add it to the ordinance saying, well, you cannot park it on your own property if it's so many pounds or whatever. Or they allow me to. And I'll be making a petition for it and hopefully I'll make, a I don't know how well change.org does, but when I do get this made up, I, I would ask you guys to help me out, sign the petition so I can take this to city council. I have never done a city council case before in my entire life. I, like I said, I don't care if I win or lose this, I still want the city to do something about the drivers like myself um, to make it more clear about us parking our own trucks in our own yard. This town is a trucking town. We have, it's not like Midland, Texas, which is, has a lot of trucking laws, but but it's a small town and, and hell, all the events that happen are sponsored by CEI, a big trucking company. We bring money into this town, so we should be able to have, a, to have our rights. I don't take the trailer to my yard. It is bobtailed, bobtailed. But anyway guys, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Wish me luck. If you guys have any advice, anything to help me out with this, please help me. I live in the city of Neosho, Missouri. You guys can go look up the laws itself and you can even copy and paste it. I'm sure I've already read it. I've had other people send me it and there's still nothing about parking your truck on your private property. And yeah, that's it. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any advice or any way that you want to help me with this, please do because I could use all the help. I've never gone to city council before. I've never, never done all this, but I feel that if I'm going to be um, living in this town, I should be part of the community and, and helping other drivers alike. So y'all be safe. Keep the rubber side down. And as usual, Big Trucker B out.